Welcome back. When it comes to Hollywood superstars, they don't get much bigger than these two blokes. Hugh Jackman and Russell Crowe are back in town, and they spoke exclusively with Richard Wilkins before tonight's red carpet premiere of Les Mis. Gentlemen, it is great to see you. Good to see you too, mate. And it's great to see you together. Yeah, it's good for me. It's good for me too. Is it? It's always fun. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up with you two. Is this your busiest year ever? Uh, about my busiest year. Yeah, it's certainly mine. Yeah. yeah. I've never made four movies. I made four movies this year. Okay, I made two and I'm busy. Yeah, I made yeah, four. You made two. Yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, what are you yeah. slacking? Yes. You have been slacking. You've been having all this I just have two weeks in Bali in the middle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> you made a movie in that period. Hugh, is this the best thing you've ever done? It's certainly the best role I've ever had. Uh, and the greatest time I've ever had. First of all, this man here, I've been mates with him for a long time. To work with him was a privilege with Annie, with that whole crew. And the, the unique thing about this job was, and it was actually, uh, it was Russell who said it to me, he goes, mate, these ones don't come along very often. He's absolutely spectacular in this movie. My sister's child was close to death. We were starving. We'll starve again. Was there ever a time when you looked at each other and thought, two Aussie lads, Gladiator, Wolverine, <laughs> here making a French period piece. You know, um, many times. Yeah, all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the things I think that we share, one of the common ground things that we share, is the ability to be simply grateful for every moment that we have. There's obviously a, a great friendship and a great respect there. Um, you spend this movie on his tail. I mean, did you have to build in a sort of a bit of competitiveness, a bit of aggro in there to make your character come to life? No, no, because I think that's, that's part of the story, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I think we're very definitely both naturally competitive people, you know. Um, I think, you know, funny <laughs> enough with him, he has grace going all the way through his body. He's just unbelievable, you know. Even in really harsh situations, he's still <laughs> extremely graceful. I, of course, <laughs> am different to that. <laughs> On the other hand. I will get, you know, <laughs> to my point quicker when I need to, right? Blah, blah, blah. So we're different, right? But... <laughs> that thing is that we both have a seed of ambition that, that's built in this country, you know? And that ambition is not to just go and become famous or something like that, to actually be really good at something. Have you two ever gone for the same role at the same time? No, mate, I've come off the bench for Russell more times. A couple of times. <laughs> a couple of times. One of them was Wolverine. And, and not only did he turn it down, but he mentioned me to the director. Thanks, brother. Uh, you know, Australia. Well, I couldn't have several... one of those Yanks get the role. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar buzz is everywhere around this film. At this point in time, Hugh's got all of the major nominations that you would need at this point. Um, but, obviously, you know, without <laughs> putting too fine a point on it, you know, that's not what we're looking for. <laughs> Come on, another little step further. Come on. One for Hugh. You can see. If you want anyone in your corner, it's this man. But, on a, but that was true from day one of rehearsal. In fact, I'll never forget, you ring me like, come on, mate, first day of rehearsal tomorrow, let's sing. And I'm like, Rusty, it's 10.30, mate. You know me, I'm a lightweight. I've got to go to bed. Get over here now, hard enough. And we were singing at 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> well, we felt ready for the morning, though, didn't we? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. Gentlemen, uh, congratulations on a fabulous film. Thank you, um, man. Okay. I'm going to have to let you, I think you've got a movie premiere to go oh, to. Oh, that, about. yes. Half a mile, yeah. they say, the red carpet. Half a mile. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to do some wind sprints. We, we sponsored by sprint at the skateboard time. company. On yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have done, Universal should have done a deal with a scooter company, probably, at least. You know. Yes. Roll the blades. only red carpet <laughs> in the history of the world to go longer than the film itself. <laughs> <laughs> Which your name is as a feat. <laughs> Oh, the boys are in a good mood. Great chat, Dickie. And Les Mis opens around the country on Boxing Day.